Hi, I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about microphones. After all, we do rent them, but it does help for you to know exactly what you're really renting. So for those of you who don't know what a microphone is, we're going to break it down fairly simple to you, for you. Um, a, a microphone is known as a transducer. That's the technical term for it. The transducers take acoustical energy and turn it into electrical energy or vice versa. There are three types of microphones. Dynamic, ribbon, and condenser. Dynamic microphones use a metal diaphragm that moves a coil of wire wrapped around a magnet to convert acoustical energy into electrical energy. So basically, as I'm talking, the sound from my mouth, that air moves that coil back and forth and that transduces into electrical energy that goes back to your console or your preamp, which converts that back into acoustical energy through your speakers. A good example of a dynamic mic is a Shure SM50A. Dynamic microphones are known for being really rugged, not that expensive, and overall sound pretty good. Ribbon microphones are built a little bit differently than dynamic microphones. Ribbon microphones use a very thin strip of metal as a diaphragm, which enables it to quickly react to sound, equaling to a great high frequency response. Now that's very crucial when you're recording, especially a voice that in the natural sounds beautiful. Well, a ribbon microphone is gonna replicate that as close as possible. Keep in mind when using a ribbon microphone that is a, it is a side address microphone. So audio needs to be captured from the front or the back of the ribbon microphone. A good example of one is the Shure KSM313, also known as the Naked Eye. Now this is a base model, so that starts around about a thousand dollars because in general, ribbon microphones are fragile, therefore they're expensive. Ribbon microphones are mostly found in the studio, although they are making their way to the stage. Finally, condenser microphones are built with two electrically charged plates, one that moves as a diaphragm and the other that one that is fixed, making condensers better for dynamic audio signals. Now, there are two different types of condensers. One is the large diaphragm condenser and the small diaphragm condenser. The large diaphragm condenser, such as the AKG C414, has multiple pickup patterns, has a wider frequency response, as well it can handle the softer sounds and some of the louder sounds, but not as loud as what the dynamic microphones can use. The small diaphragm condenser, such as the AKG C451B, has a fixed pickup pattern. It also has a tailored frequency response, but it just can't handle some of the louder sounds like a snare drum, for instance, or the louder sounds that larger diaphragm condensers can handle. Both of these microphones can be found in the live environment and in studios, while the large diaphragms can be used on a wide range of instruments. Um, the small diaphragm condensers are still kind of stuck to hi-hats and acoustics because they just can't handle the loud sounds. Well, that about does it on the intro for microphones. Just remember, there's the three types, dynamic, ribbon, and condenser, all which can be found at MikeReynolds.com. <laughs>